Hello everyone, I am Kitesh Rajanujne and I work at Red Hat. My presentation topic is S3 Select Computational Storage in S3. Let's get started. In this presentation, we will cover what is S3 Select, why ISF supports S3 Select operation, what is an S3 Select operation. We'll talk about basic uh, workflow of Ceph S3 Select and its advantages, followed by features which are supported by Ceph S3 Select. And lastly, we'll talk about how columnar and non-columnar formats make a difference while scanning the data with S3 Select. S3 Select is new Amazon S3 capability designed to pull out only the data you need from an object. This can drastically improve the performance and reduce the cost of application that is needed to access data in S3. Here, the user gets advantage of virtually storing all the data in one place and also the ability to selectively query that data. SC Select uses SQL syntax to look inside an object and return a subset of that object's data. SC Select is simply push down technique that enables the client side to run SQL query on the server side, which reduces the amount of data returned to the client. This ultimately reduces the cache by moving the operation closer to the data. The purpose of S3 Select engine is to create an efficient pipeline between user client and storage node engine should be as close as possible to the storage why SEP should support s3 select operation s3 object storage is widespread and relatively cheap storage enabling to store many objects including huge size file objects sql analytic applications can use s3 storage as their backend storage system but it means that upon running a query it needs to retrieve all relevant objects that makes this kind of integration very inefficient especially upon storing data in huge files machine learning is a common way to consume huge amount of data sql is needed for machine learning it is the de facto standard language for querying data. It is required to format data to be used by machine learning algorithms for improved pattern detection. That is why it is so important to have SQL embedded into your system. And another reason to support S3 Select is that AWS and Minio are supporting this service. What is S3 Select Operation? S3 Select Operation is not any kind of database or process or thread. It is actually another S3 operation. From software perspective, it is an efficient C++ function, which actually inherits its properties from S3 get object. S3 select does not preload the object before processing and it has low memory consumption. It is implemented as a header file and resides on a dedicated GitHub repo. This makes it easier to embed it and also to run it as a standalone application and not just as Ceph service. Integrating S3 select operation into Ceph did not require changing other S3 operation. 
this slide shows the basic workflow of Ceph S3 Select. S3 Select query is sent to RGW via AWS CLI. It passes the authentication and permission process as an incoming message. The send response data function is the entry point. It handles each fetched chunk according to the input object key. The send response data is first handling the input query. It extracts the query and other CLI parameters. For each new fetched chunk, RGW execute S3 select query on it. The current implementation supports CSV objects and since chunks are randomly cutting the CSV rows in the middle, those broken lines first or the last per chunk are skipped while processing the query. Those broken lines are stored and later merged with the next broken line and finally processed. For each process chunk, another output message is formatted according to AWS specification and sent back to the client. For aggregation queries, the last chunk should be identified as the end of input. Following that, S3 Select Engine in initiates end of process and produces an aggregate result. For AI, ML, and analytic use cases, S3 Select offer advantages of reducing network traffic, reducing the compute load of data processing, and reusing the same base object for multiple uses. S3 Select is useful in all environments, but it is especially advantageous for edge applications where fast decision making is often required and fewer compute and storage resources are available. For example, we have several GBs of data files stored in our object storage. Instead of retrieving the whole file, which may be of hundreds of GBs and then processing it, and then processing it on client side, we can use S3 Select API to filter out data satisfying specific required condition. Later, a user can make an ad hoc query for another subset of data from that same base object. These scenarios show how SC Select enables a basic type of data warehouse functionality. The S3 Select API works on multiple type of structured data. CSV, JSON, and Parquet. S3 Select has a definite set of functionalities that should be implemented to stay compliant with AWS. S3 Select support this complete spec. The implemented software architecture support basic arithmetic expression, logical and compare expression, aggregation, timestamp, and string function casting operator, including nested function calls and alias support that alone enables user reasonable flexibility. S3 Select enables high level analytical applications, which use this feature to improve their latency and throughput. Colonar and non colonar formats. CSV is the most simple format. It is not supporting data types and has trivial schema support. Almost every log file could become a CSV object. JSON is more sophisticated format. It supports data type and also schema. Upon processing a query, both format should read and scan completely. Parquet, on the other hand, is a columnar format that provides significant performance advantage. Parquet is a highly advanced object. It contains 
enough metadata that enable the user to access only the data needed for the query processing. That means by using Parquet object is not just saving network bandwidth, but also save a lot of IOPS on server side. For an example, think of a Parquet object containing thousand columns and a query that needs to process only few columns. This is a common scenario. With Parquet object, it is possible to save a lot of IOPS. These are some of the references I have used to prepare this presentation. If you have any queries or want to discuss more on the topic, you can reach out to me. My email ID is grajuria at the rate redhat.com. Thank you and have a great day.